the world's first PS3 mod chip has been released, the PS Jailbreak. You can purchase this from modsupplier.com and other uh, listed distributors. The device basically opens up the doors to being able to play third-party applications um, on the PS3, such as the backup manager provided by the Jailbreak team. You'd also expect a host of other homebrew applications to slowly appear over the coming months to years. It'll basically turn the, the PS3 into something similar to the old Xbox, which was an open platform, and today is still used as media centres and, and much more. The backup manager itself at this stage will allow you to make backups of your original games onto your internal PS3 hard drive or an external USB hard drive, flash drive, and play them from there. Do note that you won't be able to make backups of Blu-ray movies or DVD discs, just your original uh, PlayStation 3 games. Now, here we have the dongle itself. It comes in the pack packaging like this. There's no soldering involved with this device whatsoever. There's no opening up your console and voiding the warranty. Uh, it's quite an easy device to use and install. You will also need a USB flash drive uh, to install the backup manager software and possibly other homebrew applications in the future, so you'll need to get one of those to use with the device. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, show you how to uh, first power on and install the backup manager. At first, with the PS3 Slim, you need to make sure that the power cable is out first and then plug it in. With the old fat consoles, you just turn the switch off on the back and then turn it on. And you put the, uh, the dongle and the USB port in the front. And then press power and eject really quickly. Now what will happen now is that you'll see two lights on the dongle itself. It'll be red and green. If you've successfully pressed the eject button quick enough, you'll see a green light uh, come on. Uh, if you see a red light, it means that you need to repeat the process again. And there we go, we have the green light. So now we're going to do is insert the uh, USB stick into the console and load in. And under the Games tab, you'll see an Install Packages files. This will install the Backup Manager under the PS3, and then you will no longer need the USB stick. Now, make sure to remove the USB stick now, because once you launch the Backup Manager, if it's in there, it will attempt to back up onto the USB stick, which is incredibly slow compared to the using the hard drive, um, and it's something you can be caught out by, so make sure to remove it. Now, we'll insert one of our original games and the backup manager will load, giving you a disclaimer that you make sure that it is an original game that you own, that you are making a backup of. You'll see it display on the screen, you press the O button to initiate the backup. Once again a disclaimer to acknowledge that it is your own original game. And the percentage uh, is kicking off. Now as you can see we're already up to 3% and it's only been a couple of seconds. Um, the speed can, can vary depending on the game. Um, most of them can be blistering quick, some can be around 10 minutes. Um, some do take a little bit longer because they're quite large, but um, once again, it is quite a quick process um, and, and quite easy to do. So we won't bore you with uh, sitting there waiting to go to 100%. We'll pause the video and as it gets to about 98%, we'll resume. Okay, as you can see, it's at uh, 98%. It's just about done, so we're just going to wait for it to finish. It's at 99 And it's done. Now, you'll see there's two logos there. One's the top of the disk that's in the machine. The bottom one is the one that's actually been backed up onto the hard drive. So what we're going to do now, just to prove that it's loading off the hard drive, we're going to take the original out and put a different one in. And you'll see it come up on the screen in just a second. And what we're going to do now is uh, load up the one on the hard drive. What it'll do, it'll drop you back to the, the main menu where it will appear as a, a disk to load. You go up and load in. And if the camera would focus, you can see that it is loaded. 
So that's our um, first test and demonstration of the, the PS jailbreak. We're quite excited about the product. I think it's going to uh, have a lot of development done for it. There's going to be, uh, you know, a host of homebrew and, and useful applications developed for the for the PS3 now. It's really going to open up the door to sort of treating your PS3 a little bit more like a computer rather than uh, a machine where you sort of get told what you can use. Um, so you, you can probably expect a, a, a great homebrew community um, to be developed for the machine and um, possibly other devices such as this uh, coming along. So that's our uh, presentation of the PS jailbreak. If anyone's got any questions, they can uh, email through to us anytime at sales at modsupply.com. And uh, that concludes our video.